the uh, musette piece by Gusty Mahler. Um, this is the B section in G major. So we'll get going to get started in a second here. But first, please check out some of the links I have below. I have some free PDFs. Uh, I have lessons available. And then as well, uh, there's some other things to check out. You can sign up for concert notifications and things like that as well. Um, but please check it out. And uh, also, can you like and subscribe? It all helps. And share with your friends. Uh, it goes a long way and it inspires me to make more content. Anyways, so let's go ahead and get started. I like to keep the advertising short. Um, so this is the uh, the B section and it's in G major. So we're still in the same key, the same tonal center. Uh, I'm going to play it really slow for you. Uh, and then we're going to break it down. Let's start with the chords. Uh, seven and G. see the charts for them in the rhythm tracks. I have two rhythm tracks for you to play this with and practice with. One's a faster tempo, 206 BPM. The other one is a slower, 168. Um, so when you get this whole piece down, I would like to see, uh, I would like to hear you try to play it. So please share with me a video of you playing this waltz. Uh, you can tag me on Instagram, Facebook, uh, here, or wherever. But I'd like to see it and then maybe I'll give you some critique on it. Uh, Anyway, so let's go ahead and play the melody to the bridge now. The, the melody um, very slow for you uh, so now let's uh, let's go ahead and take a step back and let's go over the chords again um, which is D7 this voice with the left hand you have my middle finger on the fifth fret on the, the a string and it switches between that and the E string and then you have your F sharp on the fourth note the uh, D string, so that's uh, your F sharp, and then your your flat seven, your C, and then your D in the high note here. So you have this chord, and you just move the like, bass line. Look at my right hand. I'm just moving this one note. So it's the 
the same. And then let's do this cowboy chord, this G. So third fret on the E string, fifth fret on the D string, fifth fret on the sorry, fifth fret on the D string, fifth fret on the A string, fourth fret on the G string, third fret on the B string. And I alternate the bass lines with the same chord. So. it like this this triad here without the root note in it and this is a F sharp in the root and that's an F A E flat or D sharp uh, so it's fourth fret on the D string second fret on the G string and fourth fret on the B string and so I like to go from this to a little diminished chord so Let's go on and move on to the. Uh, let's go to move on to the the melody. Um, so there's a pickup. So it's a. And then a triplet. So. And then. And it just goes up this uh, this D mixolydian, you know. That to uh, F sharp there, the seventh fret. So, uh, so D, D, fourth fret, so C sharp, D, seven, five, four, five. And that's on the A string. Four on the D string, four, so F sharp, G, fifth fret, seventh fret, A, B, on the, now we're on the G string on the fourth fret, B, C on the G string on the fifth fret, seventh fret, so uh, that's uh, D again. Then we bar it. So we have our F sharp, the seventh fret on the B string. And it does a little hammer on, so uh, fifth fret, third fret, and then hammer on. Hammer on. with the pickup so uh one two three one i'm gonna put a metronome on just so you can hear the how the phrase lands one two three one two three one lands now and that's about 126 beats per minute um, so now let's go to the next part so you're down coming down from this this F sharp E D and then here's a fingering you can do it either way I like to do it this way this, I like the sound of the down stroke with my right hand so I switch strings so uh, third fret on the E string and fifth fret on the B string. So E and G. So F sharp G. Uh, these little trills. It's really important that we get those right. So.
So down to C there. That's over D7 there. So it's a F sharp opening and then a triplet. D, C, open. And that's a sec. So second fret, open E. Third fret on the B string, first fret on the B string. So that's the, the first half of it. And then there's going to be another part that kind of repeats itself a couple of times. And it's another pickup again. So and it says B flat. So, so e, B, B flat. And then a little trill here. And it's chromatic from F sharp. So G, half step below the F sharp, F, back to F, and then E flat and open B. So. Now let's hear that with the metronome. Sorry, my finger got, you know, got stuck on the string. It's a pickup. One, two, three, one. Ah. Pick up. One, two, three, one. So the first time it does that one part, one one time. So first time. So uh. Similar. So, so that's the same, and then you just chant. Go up to the fifth fret on the E string and go chromatically up to B. So fifth, sixth, B, A, B flat, B. And I like this thing too. Uh, so. little uh, chromatic chord movement. And that's just an A minor, so uh, bar the, the fifth fret. And then a diminish, so starting on C sharp there. So sixth fret on the D string, fifth fret on the E string, E, and B flat or A sharp on the sixth fret on the, the E string. And then your, your B triad, so E flat, D sharp. 8th fret on the G string, 7th fret, bar the 7th fret on the B and E string, F sharp and B. That's your B triad. Your one, your, uh, your five and your, your third and your, and your one. Those are the basics of chords. Anyway, so that's it for this uh, this section of the song. Uh, stay tuned for more. Please like and subscribe so you get notifications about that, this. And it, it helps inspire me to keep making this material. Um, and thanks for being here. Uh, please check out the links below. I have some free PDFs. Uh, I have a rhythm guitar course coming out. And you'll get notification of that if you sign up for the PDFs, as well as some other newsletters and notifications of, uh, of more lesson videos and things like that. Anyways, uh, thanks for being here, and we'll see you for the third section soon.